In today's video, why you need carbohydrates to build the most muscle possible, science with Steve. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some new research that came out and uh, lo and behold, carbohydrates are beneficial for building the best physique possible. So why don't we talk about the, the research that we just reviewed and I wanted you to break it down as my science officer. Yeah, absolutely. And so we found this one because uh, Dr. Schoenfeld actually posted about it on Instagram. And uh, thankfully, we have friends in good places that can get us new research because this was published in 2023. So this year, uh, which does not often happen, it's hard to get like a hold of new research. But this is almost like a meta-analysis without your normal meta-analysis. Um, normally, you're going to have them really breaking down all the studies. And this is kind of making an overarching statement based on what we've seen in the research for how low carbohydrate diets can impact your ability to build muscle. Let's explain a meta-analysis. That is basically when they review multiple studies, taking data from those studies to then, that's considered kind of the gold st standard of research, right? Right, and normally they're setting specific like... Parameters right. within each study that they wanna review. Right, and so only certain studies will meet those parameters and meet right. the guidelines to make that meta-analysis. Yeah, so this is kind of a meta-analysis, but it's also breaking down the mechanisms behind muscle building, and so I'll let Stephen go into depth on that. Yeah, and I think most of this study, because it wasn't a significantly long, it's not 10, 12 pages, um, but it did get quite a bit down into the nitty-gritty of the actual chemistry and some of the chemical pathways that are impacted when you talk about muscle growth and well, hypertrophy. Well, let's talk about that. What is hypertrophy? What is building more muscle? Right, so when we talk about building more muscle, the reality of what that is, is there's a bunch of different uh, pathways where it's going to signal that we're building more protein onto that. Um, it can mean that we're bringing satellite cells within to the muscle cell, and those are now taking up more space, and that's increasing our hypertrophy or muscle size. Yeah, and so ultimately, when you go to the gym and you're trying to add muscle, you wanna put yourself in the best position possible to build muscle and recover with your nutrition. And so what we've been talking about a long time now is as keto has become uh, very popular and for some instances, for very good reason. Keto has a lot of benefits, but when it comes to optimizing the environment in our body for building muscle, that's what we wanna talk about. Yeah, and so you know, I think that it kind of blends in very well with what we believe physiologically and what we see in terms of what net muscle protein balance shows. So it's a simple two compartment model and how much muscle we have overall depends on two things. One compartment being how much we build, the other one being how much we break down. And so we've always known that carbohydrates minimize the muscle protein breakdown. Um, so that's not new news by any means. And what this study talks about is how the low carbohydrate diets actually can have an impact on specifically leucine, isoleucine, and uh, valine, which are your three branch chain amino acids. And because it's decreasing the availability of those, it's actually decreasing how much muscle you're building. So now we're seeing that low carbohydrate intake is not only going to impact the breakdown of your muscle cells for, or protein cells for energy, right. it's also going to have a negative impact possibly on your ability to build on the protein side. Yeah, and that's not even to get into the process of the mechanism of being stronger because when you take in carbohydrates, those are stored intramuscularly for energy for production in the gym. So we as coaches of physique athletes, you know, we've coached people as world champions, as competitive bodybuilders um, at the highest level of the sport. We encourage our athletes to take in as many carbohydrates as we can fit into their macronutrient profile, specifically around a competition, but also for the benefits of keeping and building muscle throughout the process of getting very shredded. My editor is gonna put some uh, videos in here of some absolutely shredded bodybuilders. The goal for our athletes is to lose body fat and keep and build muscle throughout the process. It's not simply to lose weight. It's not simply to see the number on the scale go down. It's to build the best physique possible. So that's what this information is for. And so this study kind of talks about that mechanism of how carbohydrates are protein sparing so a ketogenic diet, which we have to define what that actually means because <laughs> there are some misconceptions around ketosis in a ketogenic diet. That is a diet that consists, what, 70 to 80% nutritional fat? Correct. A little bit of protein, 20 to 30%, and maybe that last 5% carbohydrates? Right, you'd be very low carbohydrate. And some would even argue that your fat should be higher and proteins should maybe even be like 15 to 20%. Right, so there is some variability there, but I don't think people understand that when we say keto, we're talking about primarily fat intake, 
which is a very unique lifestyle in and of itself. That's stick of butter in your coffee in the morning for breakfast kind of lifestyle. Yeah, and, and if you guys are curious, we're actually friends with probably the world's leading research on ketogenic dieting, Dominic Diagostino. He lives down the street from us here in Tampa, so I've had a lot of conversations with him. A former competitive uh, bodybuilder who is now a full-time keto researcher. So, you know, we're not saying this uh, in terms of like that keto is not beneficial for some things. There are certain situations, but I think the idea that carbohydrates are somehow bad for us, that sugar is somehow bad for us when we are hitting a correct macronutrient profile is what we're trying to dispel. Yeah, and if your goal has nothing to do with physique related sports and you wanna do keto, all the research would still say that yes, ketogenic dieting and low, very low carbohydrate dieting is absolutely still perfectly well and fine for losing body fat. Yep. Um, however, obviously as physique competitors, it's a different story when you have to maintain as much muscularity yep. as possible when achieving that stage lean conditioning. Yeah, and also for performance. I mean, it's not just about you know keeping the muscle right. in regards to what the protein sparing uh, effect has. It's also when you go in and train, you know, like you got to take into account the, the mental state of an athlete who's going in the gym and constantly getting weaker. Uh, that's going to have a mental strain on anyone. And one of the worst things that we can do as we get older is lose muscle mass or sarcopenia because that is going to lead to like less quality of life, more injuries as we get older. So what we're trying to talk about here is just this research pointing to the fact that it may not be beneficial for athletes that are trying to keep and build muscle to take a very low carb approach to dieting. Yeah, 100%. I would agree with that. And I would say I've agreed with that for years. Yeah. And this isn't, this isn't new to us. This is actually confirmation bias. This is a study yeah. that came out and I immediately sent it to Steven and said, Hey, look, there's actually some now proof. Um, because there is a little bit of, you know, I, I will say there's a little bit of information on the internet somehow that carbohydrates are bad. And I think, um, that message can be a little bit mixed and we want to be very clear. Carbohydrates yeah. are very good. They tasty and delicious. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll link the study below so you can uh, review that for yourself. And we want to say thanks to uh, Brad Schoenfeld to uh, bring this uh, research to our attention. Yeah. Right on. Thanks, Brad. All right. And go check out Steven's channel.